Good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live FB, right? Uh, at Martin TF Wong. This is the event of the day. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, I've been thinking, you know, all this stock that usually go up 1000%, 100%, what is behind it, right? What is the DNA? Right, you all know what is DNA, right? I've been asking my wife. I said, "Do you know what is DNA, dear?" Yeah, it's a it's a makeup of some sort of the gene and and the, and and the management, the product, right? I think you all want to know that too, isn't it? So that's why the DNA of the hundred and one share winner in Busan, Malaysia, and how you can find it. And of course, we use uh, the smart Roby as one of our pocket boomer to really push some of those information that we need and makes it so much easier. And of course. Smart Robbie is totally for free. All right. Okay. Now, of course, thank you to many of you. Those of you who are the first time uh, joining us, I really welcome you. And uh, do join our Telegram group here. We are almost hitting 5,000 in here. And there's a lot of free information, a lot of important information. Not only will help you make money, but also give you the sense of what's really happening in, into the market. And when we are quite independent, you know, we are not biased. We look at the market for the days and we teach a method that we find it very easy and very uh um uh, how good very unforgiving means you will remember it very well and that's part of one that's why we are growing our 5000 telegram for do join that and that's the qr code for that one all right and also don't forget our youtube do visit our youtube channel and click subscribe because some of the things some of you who have come in late and some other shows or whatever that we do on our live fb and also zach and arif who does that we will upload it to the youtube so make sure you do not miss any of this uh, live update. You can get it on Facebook, get it on YouTube, but you subscribe and you'll be informed of all our daily video in the end. Also, don't forget our Smart Rebo been getting a Smart Roby been getting a really, really good uh, uh, all you and I really appreciate those of you who have downloaded, have used it, and you find it very good. Please go over to the Android Play Store or the iOS Play Store and give me some comments in there. I really appreciate for that one. So this is this is going to help us uh, a lot in our the apps and how the response like is from the Google Play Store. Please do that and give us a review on that one. Also, do share, 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 and the more you share and you get. 200 credits every time when you share. All right, and don't, don't forget our breakfast show, Money Talk with Smart Robbie. We're still continuing. And don't forget, tomorrow it's a public holiday. I know there will be Hari Koban. Uh, it's so many of you may be away or so forth. So, so we're not doing it tomorrow. We will continue on Monday. All right, so take note of that one in there. Thank you very much for coming, Chan. Thank you for having me yet. All right. So, okay, let's start with the story. I always go, meanwhile, we want to look at the economy in here. So meanwhile, the statistics that is, uh, came out from the uh, Mantri, uh, uh, the Department of Statistics has been very great. If you notice, let me just bring up my chart here. Right, uh, okay, this, my ink. Okay, here, there you go. Uh, that's right. So let me bring out this uh, pen here. Okay, so you can see uh, what has happened, our export, the trade figures is pretty good. We are up 2.2% and our trade balance is up 20.9 billion. That means roughly currently our country is doing well. We are actually getting money in, okay? So our late largest trading partner, this is from Starbase, I give credit to Starbase. Uh, it's up 46% though, so that's good. And Singapore is up again. Uh, the negative, well, this is the import, like the yellow one is import. So import is down, Singapore is up, and US, we are up to 10 billion uh, or for the month of June. This is for the month of June, okay? So this is all giving us very credit. Now the, 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 the thing I wanna draw your attention is during this time was the post-COVID, all right, so during the post-COVID, okay, the market dropped and as a result, the market recovered and that's why, why we see the market is really up. So even coming in July and August, I do think the market will record. It all depends on the stock market. Remember, the stock market is a forward-looking and it keep moving in there. As such, you know, this very good news that KLCI lead ahead, all right, uh, when the great economy will trying to catch up the activity catch up. And we are up 8.8% .8 on a trade surplus on 20.6 billion. So this is something that I always talk about that don't feel that the great disconnect the great disconnect tell, simply tells you that the stock market run faster than the economy and i keep repeating this point so you especially those of you who just type one there right first timer typing one there you won't feel that hey you know what's happening in here and why the market is really crazy you know as as what we've seen but it is not it does make a lot of sense if you've been following as long as i've been in the market for the last 15 years uh and we try to make those information in here very, very simple for you so you can also understand too okay 
So let's go on to my uh, next one. Now, this is a very, uh, a very good news in here is the vaccination because this will have a, uh, a bearing on our market. Uh, right now, today, I think you all heard about the Top Gloves news uh, talking about they are still in talk with the US customs and border, whether that will be resolved. So that will sort of hamper how much KLCI can go. And why is that important? Because the last two weeks or two months that we've seen, 160 points of the KLCI is contributed by Hatalega and Top Glove, right? It's a very similar situation what we see in US. We are driven by tech, the FANG, the Facebook, the Amazon, the Netflix, the Microsoft, and the Google. In Malaysia, the KLCI, what is it driven? It's driven by the, the big three plus Supermax. Big three is Top Glove, Hatta, Kosan, Supermax. So when you have all these three, that's what the stock market goes up. But the news that is going to sort of hamper this kind of movement, two things are at one point on the right hand side, you can see the number of cases. This is an older picture of it. Uh, right now, US is already 151,000 deaths. That's right. Uh, it's, it's gone beyond 4 million in here as number of infection cases or more. So that gives a case of why, you know, top glove is good. But at the same time, R Russia, this was the yesterday news, Russia may register the world first COVID-19 vaccine by August 10. And that's why we are seeing can the rubber go glove. So this is where the dynamics between the supply and demand at one time. But I do think many of you who are listening, despite whether you inject with vaccination, huh, you still need glove, right? Isn't it? So what's going to happen? So because the last official date that they have in here, let me just bring out the, uh, the laser pointer. Sorry. The, okay. Uh, Okay, uh, yeah, this one here and uh, the laser pointer here. Okay, so the last uh, talk they have one is about the vaccine. Okay, the vaccine will be available in end of 2020, but the Russians are broadening out faster than anybody else and then the Chinese. So do take note of that one. So on the local scene, what we are seeing that, right, uh, the foreign funds are definitely selling, selling less. So with this, the retail investor se uh, sentiment continue to come. And guess what? We have foreign funds coming in. So this is one of the things that I do every Wednesday session. Uh, I try to update you guys that foreign funds, foreign funds, they are coming in slowly. The next slide I'm going to tell you about. And then also we heard the big news, isn't it? And Najib was guilty of all counts. He's, he's uh, sentenced to 12 years jail and he has 210 million fine. In lieu of that will be a five year. So that is giving some sort of a you know a corruption index improvement that's some of helping us to stay above the 1660 level which is important because the analyst right now is just saying you know our you know our high year end high is 1580 so the fact that if they go up and they start to upgrade this that may be a good thing because right now they're saying look the earnings are are not doing too well because other than the the glove company every else is quite bad so but on the good side uh, we have this, uh, the sentencing of Najib, but today there was another news that came up that the, uh, the Amno has pulled up from, from it. Would there be a snap election? So I'm still waiting for that news. And that's what our market didn't close that high too. But all these are panning now and like it or not, eventually economics, the Hatta and the top glove will still drive it. All right. Just take note of that one. So this is the chart that I usually show you. So you can see, uh, traditionally I've always been telling, I don't know if you guys remember or not. You see, all this while on the left-hand side, let me change this to a pen, all right? You have something like average outflow, okay? I always write this so you will know. Outflow of 220 million, okay? Outflow. And, and then we have, then we went down to about uh, uh, minus 100. Then we went back to maybe average without about 175 to 180 million, okay? But one thing good about it, we have this big occasion of buying another one, and as, as a result, you can see this is a KLCI. We have crept back to uh, 1600 level, all right? So that is what's happening in here. But more importantly, what I'm trying to say is, is once you have the foreign funds, going back to the previous slide, you have the foreign funds, you have the corruption index improve, Right, and you have the retail investor, this is you and me. We are continuing to buy and support the market, right? This market is going to move and stable. How many of you agreed with me? 1600 level. Just type it in there, 1600 level that will stay stable. Stay one stick above or up 1600 level. Just type it in there. Really appreciate you if you end up that up 1600 level in there. All right. So it sort of give people a, a, a taste that you guys really understand that. Do do that and let me know. Okay. Okay, let's move on to my next slide. 
Okay, here I'll just bring this up again. Laser pointer. Okay, we talked about this just now. Okay, now of course we use the uh, Pentagon Guider, which is a patent on our company, and this is just of yesterday's slide. The market uh, today is down. I think it's one six oh three, just a couple of points down in there. The red Pentagon was correct. The green Pentagon was correct. And like it or not, I keep you know informing the members who are those of you who are watching right now we are in the new bull market all right technically because when the market has fell over the last 10 years and we are just minus one percent all right minus one percent from the last high in december 2019 now how many of you think we can stay above 160 i think many of you talk about it and great you guys are putting under so that is the right thing so that's why we have this pentagon to ensure that so right now we're just waiting for the pentagon buy to appear okay it hasn't been, it means it's still bullish so we need a confirmation you know some of you already gone in and started to buy that's fine but you still need to wait that confirmation what i mean it doesn't come you can no ah that's right so that's why we have the human which is us we use the brain and we think we want to go in but we also use the pentagon guider which is a patent of our company to guide us in there so we are more focused on the execution part and also the psychology about it and let the tools take care by itself do i say this makes sense if all this makes sense type two okay type two so what i say this makes sense thank you very much let's move on to my next slide okay uh then let's talk about us which is important now there is a lot of talk about us you know uh donald trump losing the polls and what, what's happening in here a lot of people ask me martin what's happening here so the story is this is from uh, mark mobius one of the value investor which is based out in hong kong he came out yesterday and said look the us stock will go haywire if trump isn't re-elected mark mobius which is i do agree you know uh because they expected the uh, donald trump to revert but the market will go through an adjustment i do see there's a big correction in there but the correction the market was going to move up higher but we're going to look at the context why i say is this but having said that the us dow jones uh, has moved up into a new bull market already no doubt if you listen to behind me the tv the job numbers are quite bad there's about 42 million unemployed they're putting up a new uh, a stimulus in here for the COVID-19 from the 600 US dollar to the 1,000 US hundred. I've got a lot of people that don't have jobs, but like it or not, there is a great disconnect. Some sectors, which we're going to talk about, it will do well. Some sectors won't do well. And this is why the 1,000% DNA we're talking about in here. So that was on yesterday. Now, this is just came in uh, just a couple of minutes ago. Donald Trump is talking about delaying US election, which he can't. Technically, he can't. So he know that his poll number is coming in very, very bad. And he said that, look, they're going to have uh, absentees of uh, voting. And that's something I mentioned to the members today in our Telegram group. Because if they do snap election with the COVID-19, what do you think? How are they going to do the election? What stock will be affected ah, when they do post? What stock is that? Please type it in there, the answers. What do you think will be affected? That's why we saw a green pentagon for what share is that? Type it in there, all right? So I know, what share is that in there, okay? So, yep, what share? You all know, right? The green pentagon, post laju or post. So the same thing. So post is getting hot. Now, if they're going to implement a post, which I don't think it is, but Muidin, that's why it's so dynamic now. I don't know what they're going to do if the Pakatan pull out. And, and like it or not, they say post is the easiest way to manipulate that's what donald trump is claiming that's what we are claiming in there so is it going to be true if it does this will be the first time for our country similar what is happening in us will have a posting by vote what do you think by post if it's going by post the stock price post is going to moon up and what stock is that pos okay type it in there pos is that so why this make make sense or not if it does give me a thumbs up okay and then we'll sort of move on to the next uh line here okay next so where are we now? Why haven't we been talking about the uh, ah, also important the news that you see here? Okay, now some of you who are watching news at home when you're free or whatever. So the question is here: Who is right? Will Donald Trump win? If Donald Trump win, the stock market will fly. If Donald Trump loses, the stock market will collapse. Now these are the news that you usually see what we call the left wing and the right wing. All right, the usually the one that I I, I follow a lot. I follow both left wing and right wing. Right wing means Donald Trump. He is a Republican. Now, right wing is the one that you see over here. Lah. Okay, this is the right wing. You can see, right? Right wing R. Okay, R is the right wing. Let me use this one better. This is a right wing here. And Bloomberg is something that I follow. Fox is a right wing. Bloomberg is center. Lah. Center means uh, they don't take side. Lah. Right? And then CNN takes the side of a Democrat. 
and Newsweek take a crack and also MSBC take a So which news do you watch? Just type it in there, all right? Which news do you watch a lot? Those of you who follow international media, at least if you don't watch, just type something. Lah, huh? Don't say so embarrassed. I don't watch anything. I just watch Martin talk only. <laughs> all right? Because he sums up everything for you, right? All right? No, lah, please. I always want my reader and my fans to also follow the news a bit. But use the news to your advantage. Don't follow blindly, okay? I will teach you how to read the news and teach you, you know, using smart money. At least you get smarter too, all right? That's why I say this is If it does, give me a thumbs up, okay? So that is one. Okay, BBC, a good boom, boom, all you watch that. So these are the news you need to know, right? So once you know the types of news, then you will know, ah, this one support Donald Trump. Ah, this one support Joe Biden, okay? Makes sense. So let's go on. Now the two president during Obama and, uh, and uh, sorry, Obama's time and also uh, the Trump. Trump been saying, look, you know, I, I'm the one who really, you know, moved this market and so and so forth. Now, if you look in terms of the percentage of gain during Obama time from January 2009, right, uh, to 2017, the Dow Jones went up 100%. Of course, uh, Donald Trump said, look, you know, I only have four term. I only have four years only because of one term. You give me one more term, I will tell you I beat Obama because that guy really want to beat up everybody. Uh. So it's only 52%. It, it does make a lot of sense too if he gets another term. How many of you think Donald Trump will win? Type in there. Donald Trump win, just type Trump win. Another one who think Joe Biden will win, Biden win. All right? Please type it in there so we have a really good group, good discussion here and what we think between the, those two uh, big giants in here. Trump wins. Oh, Biden wins. Okay, type it in there. All right. So, but the fact is, regardless who wins, the US market will go higher. Now, here's another example in here you can see. Uh, for the individual stock for Apple, during Donald Trump, uh, Donald Trump time, Apple only went up 215%, which he claimed that was good. But if you go back to where Obama first became president, uh, you know, you, you will notice Apple was only $16. Right now, it's $380, okay? That is a span of 11 years. And that is what we talk about, right? The 100 to 1 beggar. What is the DNA behind it, right? And if you look back, when Obama was a president, that's where Apple was only $11. And that was in 2009. 11 years later, fast forward today, Today is $380. And that's why we want to look at those things. Because like it or not, this idea of a DNA 100 to 1, or what we call it the 100 bagger, it's not from me. It's from Christopher Myers, which we're going to talk about next. Okay, How many of you heard of this book before? 100 to 1 bagger. If you heard of 100 to 1 bagger, type in. 100 bagger. Yes, means you heard it before. All right, just type it in there. Okay. Okay, good. We have a good uh, people say, uh, all right, type it in there. And if you look in terms of, of the history, the Democrats, which is on the left-hand side, right, and the Republican on the right, okay, you can see the Democrats, the red one, Pakatan. Uh, the easiest way to remember is like that. Uh, sorry, uh, I know some of you uh, are a Barisan fan, some of you are Pakatan fan. You can see Donald Trump is a Barisan fan. That's why he's a red. Uh, sorry, he's a he's actually is a is a blue. I got the the color switch off. Pakatan is red, and the Democrat is actually blue. Sorry, I mix up the color there a bit. So I always tell people it's very easy to remember one. Okay, blue is uh blue is Trump, and Pakatan is red. So you can see here the re sorry uh, did I get the color correct? Oh yes, let me just reverse this again uh. I got the correct color at the first time. Democrat is the blue color. You can see here is the blue color here and the Republican is the red color. So again, I apologize for that one. So you can see I got the color scheme correct. So what it simply says that under the leadership of a Democrat leader like Biden, the stock market tend to do better. And you notice just now we have seen before, right? Earlier on, Obama during that eight, eight years term, when he was a Democrat, the stock market went up 100% and Apple went up 1,400%. Compared to Donald Trump, went up 52% for Dow Jones, which is from the Republican, and apalagi, Apple went up 215%. So it also confirmed this long history of 60 years. The red one is Republican, the Democrat, is thing. Now, this is important because if you listen to the news early on by Mark Mobius, and some of you say, right, some of you say like, look, Donald Trump become president, market will crash. So I really want to clarify with you. If you look back at the history 
right? Democrats will do better because this is important. Depending who you talk to, some people think Donald Trump is good for our economy, but let me just clear this for you. I think this point need to be clarified because I think many of you will follow me for the next one or two years if I continue to do trade BSA and continue to support us. If you can, you know, take a look at our, some of our products, you know, and this, so once we clarify this point, as you follow me, as I explain the economic dynamics, you will know, yeah, yeah, Martin mentioned before, Republicans don't do so well compared to Democrats. So Democrats longer run, they make money. So I want to buy the US market and, you know, make the, the, the economy. And that's that's my point here. I, I hope I clarify this. I hope like what you see. And uh, so moving forward, we're going to focus on Christopher Mai. Now, we talk about Apple just now, right? From 2009 right up to uh, 2020, which is only 11 years. And that stock moved from $11 to $380. What is the DNA behind it? So this is based on this book. Some of you heard it before. Peter Lynch, The Beggar. Some of you have not. Okay, great. So the story talks about here is how do I look for that? Now, remember... This book, which is written by Christopher Meyer, simply talks about the US, 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 US. No one has covered Malaysia. I would say maybe I'm the guy who covered Malaysia. Lah. I, I, right? So myself and my team try to research some of the things that we talk about and really put it up for you in here. So you can see how to look for them. Now, the book talk about the research back, uh, the Wall Street 1932 to 1971. Okay, so that's almost about 40 years. Then what happened? Christopher Meyer covered from 1962 to 1924. Uh, okay, now remember our KLCI uh, is only opened in 1975. So we don't have that long history. And some of the company in 1975, if you, have, if you read uh, Dr. Neil's book, most of them already closed shop already. Okay, so this is where we want to look back the last 10 years. Which are the company that did very, very well? So let's look at the basic maths first, okay? Shall we do some basic maths so you'll understand? So the first basic maths is that we talk about the 1,000% return, how long it will take, right? So if you want to get 1,000% return, which is a 10 to 1 beggar, okay? We talk about 10 to 1 beggar. Why I bring this, just, uh, just wait for me. So if you want to have a 1,000% return, okay? So two years, you need to make 316%, and the, then the time goes to seven years, Okay, you need to make 39%. So every year, 39, 39, 39, seven years, then you hit 1,000%. Now, how many of you have a 1,000% return share? <laughs> if you have a 1,000% share re uh, return, type it in there. Or maybe more than 500%. How many have more than 500%? If you have one, just type in that 500%. I know some people say, hey, Martin, I wanted to make public bank 500%, uh, but public bank didn't make it the 500%. Maybe 20 years, yes. Ah, all right. Okay, that's right. 500%. How many of you have? Okay, so let's look at the second one. This is more US-centric, okay? The second item number two you see on the left-hand side will be a 10,000% return. That's right, 100%. So what does that mean? It will take from 10K, 10,000 to 1 million. And usually, based on the research book, it takes about 25 to 30 years. That's a long time. But simply saying you put 10,000, you make 10 million. But some people say, I cannot wait that long. I, I don't mind 1,000% return, okay? I don't mind 1,000, but you know, 20,000 to 220,000 usually takes about 10 years. So you can see here, right? Let me just bring it up. This take, so this is important. Just take a photo of this, so you will know, and maybe you just crop me out. Lah. <laughs> this take 10 years, this one take 25 to 30 years. So the time frame is, is good, because some of it, people I talk to you guys today, uh, you can't even keep it for two weeks. <laughs> this one talk about, Yes, that's right. Okay, let's go on some more sites. So if you like what you're seeing and this, this makes sense, good, okay. So here is the 10 to 1 winner, the 1,000% winner, which means 1 ringgit make up to 100 ringgit. And most of these took 10 years. Now, can someone tell me, can you spot the difference here? Okay, those for you who can't see on the right-hand side, that is Yin Sun, it's plus 883%. And that took eight years, okay? That was not so important. But what's more important are those three categories, okay? What do you think? All right, what do you think? What sector do you see that? Now, if you notice, uh, the top one in blue color, right? It hit 1,000% return, four years for top class. 1,005%, eight years. Hatta Lega, six years. Supermax, less than one year. That's right, less than one year. That was one of the fastest. And I did talk about it on the uh, on one of the top glove that I said that Supermax is a better one, it's less expensive, okay? Then you have Penta, okay? Penta on the orange, 
uh, box, you have the Dufu, okay? You have the Vitrox, Vitrox took seven years, and the JHL took five years to hit 1,000%. On the bottom green box, you have a combination of GCB, the Coco, QL, 1,400% in 12 years, and Press Metal, 1,300% in eight years, Syntax, 1,100% in 10 years, and Syntax, as uh, Yinsun, the last one, 883% in eight years. So can someone tell me some of the difference between here? That's right. Now, if you notice, the first one, the blue one, is actually sector on rubber glove. The second one is technology, right? The third one is the other sectors, the consumer, correct? The consumer. So you notice the top glove only happened because of COVID-19. But if you look from the orange one, the orange box, that is the fastest, ladies and gentlemen. That is the orange sector. So what is simply tell you, this sector will grow fast. And we're going to look at some of the history and the team behind it. So keep in mind, technology is one of the fastest giving price and return, okay, because of the tremendous growth that you see. Food-wise, they're considered defensive. GCB took longer, right? So it depends how you want to see. Say, I want to get 1,000% maybe in four years' time, example, right? Technology is something you want to focus, okay? So is what these six make sense? Huh? Is it make sense? Give me a thumbs up, okay? So this is what we mean. First, we go on to the respective sector, okay? So next thing, how did it have? What is a common feature among all this more than 10 years? Is it because they work hard? <laughs> the owner work hard or what? Is it because of patient? Do they have connection? That's why they grow so big. What all got jalan, got luck? Or father give one. <laughs> what do you all think? All founded by China men again. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So what do you all think all this? Huh? Just give me a, uh, what do you think all this? Is it by luck, hard work, and so forth? Just type it in there. I really appreciate that if you can type it in there. All right. So we have a lot of new billionaire or in the making, show them the money. We have top glove. If you have a top glove, have it without, within 20,000. In the four years time, you made 241,000. Hatalega, 221,000 because you grow 1,000%. Uh, and Kosan is 1,005% in seven to eight years, slightly longer. Uh, the top gloves is more. And Supermax, 1,000% one year. All right. And finally is top glove. 2,142% in four years. So your $20,000 investment that you put in grow to 448,000. That's a lot of money, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen, all right? So this is hard. So great, great. Some of you are putting the right answer, hard work with that one. Okay, so this is why we want to get you excited. Show you the money. Now, how many like the money, okay? Type in there, show me the money, okay? So this is a new billionaire and the making, and some of them are coming to it. Now, let's look at the, some of the key characteristics from the investment. This is where you get your camera, lah, huh? get ready. Number one, okay, this is from Christopher Meyer. Now, he mentioned that when you buy the company, it has to be small because the big sheer size, it prevents against great growth. All right, so that's one very important thing. <laughs> so what does that mean? That means cannot buy Top Glove anymore. So big, it is, right? Cannot buy Maybank anymore, right? How to make money, okay? So first rule, must be small, okay? Take note of it. Number two, must be unknown. Again, Top Glove, everybody know about it. Cannot grow money, right? So popular stock will keep growing and often uh, don't pay too much uh, growth. No, no one really will pay for the growth and probably they meet the criteria and in their context, it's actually an OTC market. That's why you see a lot of small cap stock move up. That's the number two. Number three, it must have a unique product. Now, if you look at it, uh, Top Glove, when we first started out, all the glove company, as a matter of fact, Malaysia is one of the biggest glove company. No one does it better. The Chinese has done it, the Thai has done it, but no one has done it better to it. And also for the Malaysian, the so-called uh, semiconductors, they can't even do as well. The Philippines can't even do as well because of the skilled workers. And like it or not, I've been talking a lot. Malaysia, our quality of the workers, and many of you who work in the factory will agree with me. We are at Swiss quality, but at Malaysian prices. Very, very cheap. That's right. Yep. Mm, very cheap. That's why Chia is talking it correctly. So this is quite important. And then the fourth one must be very good management, which I think some of you, Chia said it right, no? unlike Air Asia. The management has to be research-minded, latest technology and strong. I think many of you know this. This is not, this is common sense. You know, you read any book, but having said that, it is what it is. Just like when you look at the 100 bagger that you see in US, example, look at uh, Apple, right? Apple is more than 10, uh, it's a 1000 bagger, okay? 
And you look back when Apple was only $10, $11, they did have their Macintosh and so on and so forth, but it didn't grow until right now, right? So these are the four factors, just take note of it, okay? So let's talk in terms of Malaysian criteria, okay? So I have put up this one in here, you can see uh, the first one is usually small, means small to mid cap. Lah. So if you're gonna target, again, take photo, uh, the uh, Asian uh, Ace market and lower tier in the main board. And usually the majority of owner have to be first and second generation. And not only not found, that is why it's very difficult for the beginners, especially they don't cover it. And sometimes I talk about those shares. I used to talk about it a couple of years ago, but no one to buy it. People only want to buy it popular. So that's why I said that uh, to make money, sometimes you have to take the path of least travel. It means no one taken the path, which I normally do, right? Um, in here, I bought Bio Alpha before, much, much earlier, but I sold it. But before this round, big, make it up. So the question is, will Bio Alpha become a hundred bagger? Maybe it does it have all the criteria in there? So it's, it's small by by alpha. It's unknown, but now it's really been unknown. unknown. Do they have a mode? They do a lot of those uh, so-called uh, herbs, which I visited them before. I know the CEO uh, William Horn, right? And they are OEM, very similar, and they are research. They have a Taiwanese guy uh, as an expert who have a PhD with his team to do a lot of innovation. So it has all these four criteria. The question is. Would there be a big boom? So you need to have these four criteria. So using bio alpha is just just one of them. I know some of you have bio alpha inside there, in here. So that's what we want to see. Okay. So is this okay? If you okay, take a picture of this one here, right? Is the sound coming in okay so far? All right, I just want to make sure the sound is coming in okay. Just give me a text if the sound is coming in okay, okay? Okay, so let's move on to the next uh, slide that I have here. Now, tipping point, when will it happen? Okay, when will it, the when will it happen is also very, very important, okay? Now, one of the reason why is because you need to know when it happened. Right now, we have a COVID and the COVID was one of the reasons a lot of these things happened and why I talk about the DNA thing. So you can see here, first of all, you got to have a major event, a market crash or global pandemic in here. Number two, it has to have, the second reason when it, when it will happen is that when you have commodity prices, rising crude oil no sound okay how is it now is it is it okay just the internet now is uh i'm having some internet issues here okay and seeing okay green color now is it better okay there was a sporadic movement in there so i'll just pause here and wait for the thing to come back first yeah yeah it's coming back here okay got sound now So this is where the tipping point will happen. Okay, I'll just hold on to here while we wait for the tipping. Okay, I think I can proceed. Also, point number three is also they need to behave some sort of private enterprise stimulation of government. Okay, so they are these are the third reason when it will happen. Okay, and fourth is when the company continue to grow, where they have a product that people likes it right continuous inset for example uh, maybe at that time there was a, con uh, a like for air travel products the planes all right so when they sell more planes they com compound it retains earning so those are the four reasons in here but keep in mind for this round the reason was item number one is because we have a, a black swan event which is not many people indicated it and that damn thing just came COVID-19 and now you have like what 16 million people Huh? Got Kanna, COVID cases, and about 151,000 people died. So this is what's happening in here. Okay, so let me just put it out and sum up for you. So what happens is that we have a global pandemic, the coronavirus, which is actually a black swamp area. Then 2021, we have this trend. So those countries and those sectors, which is in number one, okay, number three, new technologies, okay, 5G, IoT, which I talked about last week. Customer expectation, they want user experience. Like right now, you cannot go to the shops, right? And uh, and, and shops, okay.
Okay, now while I can I continue on, there's a pause inside there. So right now you can see there's a big data and, and that's item number two. So the big change and as a result, we got the super glove, the top glove, the Kosan and Hata, and those are the sectors that did well and China become superhero. All right, so it sums up means those industry has to be a new product that is growing and because of the COVID-19 that forces it and then the sector floated up and that's what it means and that's why it happened. So I sum it up for you already. All right, number one, COVID came. Number two, they happened to be at the right place at the right time and all the technology has done pretty well and not only like uh, Penta Masters and all this over the years to change demographic and that sector which Malaysia who is an OEM has done very well and continue to prepare and that's why we saw uh, a 2,100% overgrowth on that one. All right. Okay. The internet issue is a bit slow. Now it's much better, right? In here. Okay. So industrial 4.0 about the good news is in Malaysia, the lean technology 4.0 started 2015. Okay. So 2015 is where we started the industrial 4.0. Number one is talk about, you know, the old way building factories, then 3.0. Industrial Lean 4.0 is something that is started by the Ministry of Technology. So that's the one they talk about IoT, artificial intelligence. So these are the new coming up. So what I do tell our members right now, go over and scan through any of the newspaper people talk about new. That's one of the things that I do every morning on my breakfast show. I look out for small company with new technology. Is it, could it be solar? It, could it be uh, the uh, electric cars? Those are the things we want to look for. All right. So next to US market, our Malaysian market has a pretty good exposure. Of course, if you have a chance to go to US, which I will talk about US in um, coming next week, our masterclass, those of you who are interested, this is where I'll be focusing a lot on looking for those company that potentially has the 100 to one beggar. That's right. So join me on the masterclass. Okay. So now let's talk about uh, the OPE. Okay. Now we're going to go on to a bit of case study, talk about don't overpay. Now, yeah, like right now, we can, we can see if you type in into Roby, you will see uh, top glove is almost 107, if I'm mistaken. So in here, you can see the OP uh, earnings is $1. And because of the growth come, right, there was a black swamp event. The PE went to 40. Okay, you PE 10 went to 40, right? And all price from $10, it goes to $25. And from $10, you go to hundred dollars so that is almost a 10 uh that is almost uh a, a, a hundred bagger la. is that a hundred bagger yeah a hundred a hundred bagger or a one thousand percent okay so this is important so when you buy the p at the time you want to make sure not too high not triple digit so this is what it says here now it take 10 years to achieve from 25 ringgit from one ringgit so the market will generally move higher now, as a result, because of the combi that is growing at 40 PE right now, right? People, as I said before, just like you're watching someone doing a, what do you call that? A wire walk, walking in it. So you want to see someone wire walking on a six inches above the sea level, six inches, huh? or 6,000 feet above the sea. Which one do you like to see? Just type it in there. Huh? You like to see the 6,000 feet or the six inches from the ground. Just type it in there. Right. Of course, you want to see the 6,000 feet. Nobody want to see for six inches when you walk on the tight rope. It's the same thing because you want growth. So that's why you need to pay more. Now to see the 6,000 feet, usually you buy a ticket and you go in and go to the circus. Isn't it? You pay more for that one. And that's one of the reasons why I tell people sometimes you cannot find those. Remember, Roby will only rate those based on its ROE. Okay. Now, a second case study in here, we talk about where the multiples is about 100. Let's say you bought it, the uh, PE multiple is 100, and then the new PE is 100. Because once you hit triple digit, uh, it is very difficult for it to go higher anymore. The stock price just won't move. So for that, it means the earnings has to grow from $1 to $100. So that simply says that what Warren Buffett will always say, once your PE hit 100 triple digit, it already hit the limit already. So the earnings now have to play catch up. And it's not easy, especially in this COVID-19 where the earnings can catch up. It can go up, but not too much. Remember we talked about earlier, any of those rubber gloves can only do 20-30%. This one, you have to grow very fast, no? 100%. <laughs> All right. So this is why 
the easiest lesson is don't overpay for high PE. All right. Now, this is a good list. Take a photo of this. We won't have time to go through all the time. I'll just pick up four examples for the case study in here. So in Malaysia, we have 10 to 1, the 1,000% return. Now, how many of you are comfortable with the 1,000%? If you are, just type in inside here. If you get a 1,000% happy, you know, happy, just type 1,000%. Okay, I'll take a sip of water first. Okay, so for this, let's go on to the next example. So remember the happy moment? Ah, somebody type Kodak, right? Yes, I brought up Kodak for you. What happened to Kodak? Because Kodak's story has to do with the 1,000%. Okay, you remember Kodak? No, take photo one. Chick, 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 chick. Yeah? Ah, right. 1,000% it has it. So Kodak is no longer around. So that's the, the story. I don't have 10 years time frame. Why I'm trying to tell you is that most of the time, what has... The market shown us this is a chart from McKinsey, very important. The number of company that will last is getting shorter and shorter. It means a life cycle, a life expectancy of a company, which means it's only 12 to 15 years. Whatever company that you see today, right, they will go away. So don't think about Kodak that will last forever, like Siemens, which I used to work. They don't last and they're getting smaller and smaller. One day they'll be bought up by other people. Why? They, because they could not adapt. So have a plan to get massively wealthy in company as the company grow. So when you want to buy those companies, you want to buy when they are young. Okay. So this is very simple. Let's say the company is already uh, uh, coming to eight or 10 years, nine to 10 years, and you reach a point, it cannot grow any money. But the question is, you will grow older, <laughs> correct? Meaning you will outgrow the company. So when you want to buy, you have to buy young company. So when they grow, the money will grow. So, but if you are, because you're going to outlive the company that you see. So let's say right now you're in certain age, you want to buy top glove because it is so, so and so high, right? But it doesn't make sense because that tells you the market will, I mean, talk about longer term, huh? the market will continue to reduce the life expectancy of certain counters. I don't know whether this US custom border will reduce. It's a pine, it's a tipping point, maybe for top glove of the forced labor that we see. We, we don't know. So point is, go for young company. And like it or not, when they grow, you will outlive those company and you will enjoy the wealth of those company. And that's the lesson here, all right? Because this is an important point. Buy young company in here. Now let's look at the first case we talk about top glove, okay? Now if you look on the left hand side, talk about the uh, ROE. Now the ROE are all, all those little small boxes here. You can see uh, this is from uh, Trading View. You can see this is the price. You can see right now the price shot up so much over here. But notice uh, the return on equity, which is the profitability measurement, didn't move up. And you can see the PE uh, also shot up to how many? 100. Every time when you go up to three, three triple, uh, sorry, triple digit, uh, this is where the price growth is very, very difficult. All right, because we look back at the history. Now, a lot of analysts, when they do this, they just do pure theory, pure academic. They don't look at the history. That's why the 100 to one bagger has a lot of meaning in here. So in here, you can see uh, they already hit 108 all here. So that tells you top glove right now cannot grow anymore. Let's look at the next case. QL, okay, even though, now QL, you notice what you'll notice here. If this is, the little blue box is ROE, right? See, what is the ROE? ROE is declining. And yet, right, you can see the QL, the price earning has gone up. It means it's shot up. That means how pricey it is. Uh, around 68, once you get up to 100, uh, that's, that's it. You can't grow anymore. Eh? All right? So that's take note of it for QL. Uh, this is what I like. You can see here, Penta Master. Penta Master every year is growing like this. Again, uh, the blue box here that you see, these are the ROE. It means probability is growing, okay? And price is growing. And you notice on the ROE, sorry, on the PE here, how many times? 35 times only, that's right. It hasn't gone higher. QR has gone to 68, right? And remember the part that if the earnings must grow to catch up. So Penta Master can grow earning, but the PE hasn't grown yet. So there's a lot of room for Penta. Ah, so what do you think? Penta can buy or not? If you think can buy, type in there. Ah, I give you a clue, right? 
Ah, Penta. So take a look. Let's look at the next one. Okay. By the way, I bought Penta before early on at four dollars. Now six dollars. Yeah. So next one we look at GCB. Now GCB is rated six out of eight. Now you notice GCB is also increasing ROB. Now what do GCB do? They make cocoa. Not exciting lah. Slow growth lah. But you notice ah, their PE ah, went up. Ah. Now their PE ah, if you look at it, it's only how many? The PE is only right 10 or 12. You can see that. Still very, very cheap. That's why it's rated 6 out of 8. And you can see ah, the the uh, Guangzhou ah, has moved up ah, from, from, of course, I think it done some stock split here before. Ah. And now around three something. I think some of the members have bought the GCB. Not excited. I, I told many people, if you are not the risk taker, get GCB. And GCB, go over to uh, Pentagon, uh, uh, the stock fun uh, fundamental. It has paid a really good, decent dividend. All right. So those, those are the lessons learned inside. You want to have increasing ROE. So in short, let me just summarize for you. You want to have increasing ROE year in, year out where you see this, uh, the blue box going higher, stock price going higher, but the PE hasn't gone up yet, which means the PE uh, has room to go. Because PE is still cheap, uh, so it hasn't gone up. Just like I said before, if you buy a property in in uh, Manaitu, uh, KLCC, it's already so expensive. Really. It cannot go higher. And that's what it means. So if you buy somewhere else, hasn't developed yet. Let's say maybe last time PJ lah, huh? PJ, uh, Pataling Jaya, and then Pataling Jaya getting bigger and bigger, more developed, the price go up, then you benefit. All right, I hope you get this one point in here. If you like what you're saying in here, right, type one. Okay, now somebody say here about XOX with 5G. Again, go back to those four points again. XOX with 5G, the management, are they good or not? XOX is small, okay, that's no doubt. The ROE, are they making money or not? Ah, that's right. So when you add all those, so don't just buta buta follow people lah, okay? Ah, so just don't look at the technology, look at the ROE, look at the PE. Because I want to teach you guys proper way of investing, okay? So let's do a summary in here, okay? I don't want to take it too tonight in here. I hope I like what you're saying. So summary is the greatest price gain when the earnings grow, multiple growth. So you want to buy when the PE is lower and it's attractive. GCB, Penta. Haha. <laughs> if you like GCE and Penta, I think it's okay to buy. Give me a thumbs up, okay? I already make money. I haven't bought GCB yet, but I bought Penta, okay? Another one. Second case, usually during a black swan, you see big price expansion during the COVID-19. Now for, for how many of you like chocolate? Because uh, GCB make cocoa. Now, during this time of COVID, you will expect cocoa consumption to go up, but actually it did not. It just went down slightly by minus 3%. Mm -hmm. But because people can't go to the shop and buy, but hopefully when they reopen, more people go for it. All right. The third thing, those of you who still have rubber glove like me, I have Hata, which is about 100. You can see the author observed it is okay to hold the stock even if the PE is lofty height at 100 plus. So don't sell your rubber glove yet, which means it can maintain at 100, the earnings will cut, come up, right? It won't drop so much. Ah, so tonight I answer your question whether you should sell or don't sell. Anything. It's kind of difficult to explain, but once you understand uh, the PE, the technology behind it, you will know you can hold it. That's why, reason why I'm still holding my rubber glove. Okay? So three points important in here. Again, take a photo with this. Again, if you ever do meet up, you want to text me on the messenger, you want to find out more how we do this. And this is the kind of research we really want to teach a lot of investors. Don't, don't, not the kind of thing traditional, all those free cash flows. We will talk about those too, all right? So let's talk about sector by sector profitability. Now, this is from McKinsey Research. Right, partly I just give a hint to you. I was a researcher, so okay, <laughs> right with a consulting firm, so I'm pretty good in this. So you can see in here the next best industry are getting better and better. All right, so did simply say during the post COVID, a lot of recovery with semiconductor, pharmaceutical, and these are the sector you want to be in. Okay, so take note, take photo of it. So if you buy, you gotta ask, understand is it this company I'm buying? Are we in this in yeah? Uh, so like XO 5G is definitely inside there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I already say already got Penta. Good. 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 Okay. Ah. Uh, so again, uh, some of these sectors typically in Amazon, Microsoft, PayPal, these are done very well. And this something that I will talk more in the master class. Now in Malaysia context, I try to discuss here. But our coming master class that we do next Saturday, we will go into US. The type of cyclic, the type of stocks you want to look at here. Just a couple of example. I'm going to share with you more on the master class. All right. 
So again, going back to traditional investing, which you see a lot in Facebook advocate. Now, this is from this group called 8i. Uh, 8i. How many 8i? They go on, they're from Singapore. They teach a, uh, they teach value investing course. I'm not gonna, you know, you probably know who I'm talking about. Right? So they started this uh, uh, fund management called HCF. If you notice, the stock really after 2008 only make 10%, good or not? I mean, if you compare, if you buy Apple, <laughs> what do you think? Is it good or not? All right. So the key message in here, the value investing at the purest form, if you stuck with the real value investing, it doesn't work in this post COVID-19. You got to go for the right sector, which I talk about technology and the growth and the momentum. If you're going to buy something very, very cheap on the wrong sector, that's why you get it on the left hand side, 10% return after how long? Wow. Two and a half years. Oh, coming to three years a day. Not good, man. Uh, FT is so maybe better. <laughs> All right. So this also confirmed the battle of the stock between value and growth. Now, if you look at it, the first part is where Warren Buffett was very productive during the oil crisis from 1975 to 1988. There you see value growth really outperform. You know, value stock grow by 300% here. You can see here, right? This one, let me just bring it here. 300% here and uh, growth stock. Then the Black Monday crash. Of course, right? And you have this uh, uh, so-called growth stock uh, grow. But uh, since from 2000 onwards, you can see after the dot com and the 911, right? Value stocks hasn't really performed yet. And that also explains why the HCF, which is done by the 8i, hasn't performed yet. Now, a lot of people don't know. That's why they all buta buta follow value investing. They really don't know. You go for, you go for value investing, but you go for growth stock, okay? Ah, that's the message inside here. So you can see growth momentum outperform value four times. And this round after the post COVID, just like what Smart Roby focus, you need to focus on the momentum stocks. That's the one who's moving and using the right rating by Roby. Okay. So those are the message I want to talk. If you look, don't look for cheap, especially the older generation. Those of some of you are from the older generation in here. You want to find somewhere cheap, but cheap can get cheaper. Now, this is a, a case study from uh, one of the accounts that I managed for a, a client. You can see we started off by 1 million uh, back in 2014. It's gone up to 2.1 million. Okay, so uh, about 12% return now. I mean, don't forget we have a COVID, but very important is that uh, during the drawdown with the period that the stock go, it didn't go so much. It didn't go back to zero. And this is what I want all of you. Eventually, if you've been following enough or you start coming to our masterclass, we want you to have a portfolio like this, 250,000, start managing up, going up to double your fund every five to six years. So one million become two million, five to six. Not individual stocks, are because individual stocks, I'm going to show you, you actually get more and more. So this is the individual stock. You can see what I have uh, for this gentleman in here. Nestle, Hatta, Inari, KGB, QL, Revenue, Thai Bridge, River Stones. And you will notice uh, why I like Hatta. Because if you look at it, Hatta, at one point of time, it is very unique. It's At the time when I bought it, you can see it's only Hatta after splitting is only one ringgit 75 cent. And I know there will be an outbreak of virus, just like the Black Swan, the event which I talk about. It is at the right place at the right time, the demands are not. But once you have an outbreak like we have in SARS, and then we have the H1N1, and then this time COVID-19, that thing hantam, then what we have is a Duran Runto, all right? So the others are more like trends, okay? So take note of that one, okay? So that's why if you have a portfolio, you need to have it, and that's the only way to grow it. And I, I felt very great for my clients, and I also feel some of you who's been following me, I want you to have a portfolio similar. Maybe not one million to start off with, okay? Maybe, uh, let's say $50,000. But if you do and follow some of what I want to summarize tonight, you will find a diamond in the rough. So I'm going to summarize for you, right? The four criteria, call it SUMU, okay? Remember, what is SUMU? S U M U Sumu. Remember, so next time I ask you to remember Sumu uh, on Saturday. So S stand for small size owner and founder. U unknown, no coverage. M good management. U will be a unique product. Ah, so like the example, someone remember put XOX. Does it fit under there? 
did they have a lot of coverage? So some, some of the stocks that I do, I actually visit them to see whether they have coverage or not. Number two, always bias towards a stronger and the second stronger sector. This is where trade VSA package have the sector analysis. And third, use the market timing method, the Pentagon trade VSA. So it's also very important that when you see the stock, you don't want to go parabolic. So this is where Pentagon is good. And that's why today we talk about post, remember? Huh? Post voting, general election 15, correct? Ah, you get it? And then finally, use Smart Roby for the ratings. Uh, two, three minimum for investing a longer term, then you need some patience. So if you don't have the Smart Roby, uh, Smart Roby reps, download it and go ahead and ask them. So remember, we are coming out from the, the great drop or the great depression, the great market crash. We are coming to a place where we're going to have greater hopes inside there. All right. So the best solution is you have to ask yourself. And I always say, I always use Tiger Woods, which is my so-called, you know, person who um me, you know, play, play harder, work harder. It's one of the hardest workers player. How many of you are golf player and agreed with me that Tiger Woods is one of the hardest Okay, one of the hardest worker Okay, the, we have some, uh, I'll just wait for the signal to come back but first. So I'll pause here. Okay, I'm back. I just uh, did something to my routers. I switch it back and I'm back. So the message is, I apologize for the shot with the internet because at night, a lot of people use the broadband. So here is the urgency. It's important to be at the best peak right now, especially in the post-COVID rally. Make sure you take that opportunity and learn as fast as you can. And for those of you who want to have a winning system and want to get adopted or get some sort of coach, we are here for you. All right, we are here for you in here because this opportunity come right now. Okay, so we have our member dashboard and some of you who have subscribed this, which is a trade VSA tools that you, you look for the right sector in there, looking for the small cap. So it's like they're using the binoculars. You can do it two ways. You can scan through the newspaper. We have the right way to do it, whether this is uh, uh, the technology sectors or the oil and gas. Yes, it's hang again. I apologize for that one. Huh? Right, or the or, or the okay, we are back again. So the technology sectors or the oil and gas or at the contract manufacturing system in there. So we have the tools to do that. So one of the top mistakes that a lot of people do, and you want we want you to make sure to avoid this costly mistake is generally make sure you model after people successful. Just like what I did. I study Christopher Mayer over time. I took some of the ideas that, that they have and I did it over the last six years. I doubled the accounts of my clients. Okay. Go ask mom to close it, okay? It's off already. Okay.
Okay, we are back. <laughs> I like the uh, uh, Muha says that 5G cannot support. Okay, we are back. So it's very important to really to model against uh, some of these people inside there. Again, our KLC apps and our post COVID, which we are doing ne next weekend, we have our, our master class. So allow me just do a, a few uh, very simple promotion for our master class. It's from 8 to 10 of August, something that we talk about. And one of the strategies we talk about will be the US market, which I'll talk about it. There are lots of this 1000%, 10,000% return that we have in US. The Malaysia one that I covered with someone I explained, but the US is the big one that we have. And this election, we will see this market go up, which I've just shared with you, whether Democrat wins, Republican wins, the stock market is going to go and this is where the opportunity is all right so join us in our telegram group this is the those of you who have not and you can take a picture of this one in here right and i hope to see you on the next talk that we'll be doing will be this coming saturday that's right this saturday 2 p.m first of august 2 p.m huh? we'll be talking some of those stocks we just talk about Penta and GCB on the next trend. So make sure you catch me again on Saturday, 2 p.m. And for those of you who are interested to know more about us and uh, what the things that we do in our masterclass, there's a number below scrolling you. Just WhatsApp to us or just give me a messenger and say, Martin, that was a good talk, 100 to 1. Uh, I have an uh, opinion about this. Just share with me. I'm happy to hear that. So that's all I have. Thank you very much tonight for sharing this video. I really appreciate it. I hope that little insights that I have for you will give you the confidence to go up and to buy on smaller cap stocks, unknown stocks, and hope you make that 1000% return in less time than it will take 10 years, maybe four or five years. With that, good night, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you on Saturday, 1st of August for the Market Compass, Market Compass 3 Talk Series, stock to watch out for for the next trend. Bye-bye.